Hi, it's Doug Sharp from Canada Family Action and the National Leadership Briefing. And I'm actually here in Calgary, Alberta. It is election time in Alberta and you all have a choice. You have a choice between, there, and there are clear choices, you have a choice between a UCP United Conservative Party government or a Rachel Notley led NDP government. And so I'm here because in the, in the province today for various reasons, I'm walking my neighborhood here. This is where I, this is a school that I went to uh, uh, school at for high school. My, my elementary school's over there. My house is just over across a couple of streets. Uh, I care about this province. So I wanna encourage you to make the right choice. And the way I'm gonna help you do that is uh, I'm gonna give you a little uh, insight into what we in British Columbia, because now I live in British Columbia, what we're experiencing under an NDP-led government there. So in British Columbia, we have an NDP government, so I have a lot of experience with that. So let me tell you what your future holds if you vote an NDP government here in Alberta. Uh, first of all, I wanna give you an example of a piece of legislation that was passed in our legislature just a couple of months ago. It's Bill C-36. Now this is a NDP introduced bill. Adrian Dix is our health minister. And of course, you know Bonnie Henry. I'm sure you've heard of Bonnie Henry. She's one of the health officials in our province. And you might remember in Alberta, you had somebody here called Dina Henshaw. Well, Dina actually, when she got fired from Alberta, she ended up getting hired by our NDP uh, government over in British Columbia. And what they did was they passed this bill, Bill C-36, which is the Health, health Professions and Occupations Act. And in this piece of legislation, I'm gonna tell you what's in it, because again, if you get an NDP government, if you elect an NDP government here in Alberta, I am almost certain that you're gonna see a very similar, if not identical bill passed in your home province of Alberta. So let's see what the NDP government in British Columbia passed and imposed on us. First of all, now, with this bill, I'm gonna reiterate here, college advisory boards, which you have one also here in, in Alberta, you have a college advisory board for doctors, will now consist of government appointees as opposed to doctors. Because in each province, you've got a college of, of physicians and surgeons, and they, they elect a board, and they kind of administrate and, uh, and oversee the doctors in the province as a, as a self-governing body. Well, in, in now in our province, where the doctors used to do that, now the College of Physicians and Surgeons will be policed by individuals that are unelected activists and political appointees of the NDP government. Second thing is that the Ministry Health of Health is now able to seize patient files and storm into a doctor's office without a court order and grab them. So the government officials going into doctor's offices and taking your files out of your doctor's office and seizing them without a court order is now possible in British Columbia. Also, anonymous complaints under the new legislation can be filed and can lead to, that's, that's a complaint from somebody you don't even know who it is, they can file a complaint against a doctor and that doctor's license can be suspended without any investigation just simply by receiving an anonymous letter and having a political appointee decide to suspend a doctor's license. Also, a refusal for a doctor to get any mandated vaccine or any mandated therapy will result in a license being pulled as well. So you can actually get your license pulled for just simply not complying. And then if you don't comply with these guidelines and mandates, you can also in the province of British Columbia now as a doctor be fined up to a half a million dollars and be jailed for six months. So what's happening in our province is, is, is that doctors who are close to retirement or maybe are considering maybe moving to another jurisdiction to, to practice, they're now leaving the province. They're now retiring early. They're now looking for other jurisdictions to live in because they're living in now in a, in a, uh, a a world within their health community that is completely taken over by government. Now, why does this sound so familiar to you and I? Because this is the same playbook that they use on the left, leftists within the NDP and the liberal governments, they've used the same playbook when they took over the education system a few years ago. They move in, they take over the governing bodies, and then they establish their bureaucrats in oversight and in the legislatures so they can pass laws to determine what it is they need to do to take control. But here's the worst thing about our province now and the health authority and the, and the power that the government has is that our provincial health officers will now be legally allowed to adopt regulation codes from foreign countries without notice, justification, consultation, voting or oversight. 
So you can actually adopt a regulation code from the WHO, the World Health Organization, and you can adopt it in our province of British Columbia under this NDP government that is actually uh, something that doesn't have to be voted on the legislature and it can be a completely uh, 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 abstract, unknown thing to the, to the voters. They can just implement it without any voter oversight. And if you're taking a look at the World Health Organization and the, and the, the uh, World Health Assembly that just pl took place in Geneva, you know that's a dangerous thing. So I guess what I'm saying is that, is that you got a choice in front of you, more government or less government. Conservative governments typically get out of the way, whereas left-leaning governments like Liberal and NDP, they typically take over. So you decide what kind of world you want to live in. But I tell you, the world I grew up in, my world as a, as a young man, as a young boy when I was growing up here, it was all about opportunity and it was all about capitalizing on an open road in front of you and just make it, running as fast as you can run. That's what's at, that's what's at risk now with this NDP election and this, uh, this uh, conservative election in the province of Alberta. So I encourage you, get out and vote, but vote smart, vote smart, vote conservative in this particular election for sure. Thanks so much for your time today. Again, the voting day is, is on the 29th, May the 29th, and you can get all the information you need online. It's not hard to find your local polling station, but you gotta get out and vote and vote blue. Now we've done some more videos that you can share with people that will encourage them to get out to the polls on E-Day. And all you have to do is just click on the top right hand corner of the video right here.